I'm about to show you a search command in Omnisphere 3 that will return sounds 99% of users will never ever find. It takes 5 seconds to type, but it filters through all the patches in Omnisphere 3 with surgical precision. Just watch this. Go to select here, and I change that to all Omnisphere, category all, and I'll go to this search term here, and I type in something like dark and pad and straight away I filter out all the guff and end up with nice dark pads so these sounds those two sounds just played Probably very difficult to find with a regular search, but with Boolean operators, I found it in just seconds. Just let me show you how all this works. So here's the frustration. You know exactly what sound you want. You can hear it in your head. You type a keyword into Omnisphere search box, and you get hundreds and hundreds of results. You know, I know it's a synth sound, so synth, and get loads of sounds come up. And you start clicking through them. And after so like, a couple of 50 patches or so, you're, you're not inspired anymore. You're exhausted yourself for good enough instead of finding that perfect sound you want. This is the hidden cost of Omnisphere. It's got a massive library and you end up with choice paralysis. It's, it isn't just annoying. It can be creativity killing, really. But professional composers don't have this problem. They use Boolean search operators that 90% of users don't even know exist. These are AND, OR, and NOT commands that transform vague searches into precise filters. And by the end of this video, you'll search like a pro, never settle for good enough again. So let's start with the basics here. Boolean searches three core operators. The word AND, both terms must be present. The word OR, either the term can be present, so you can have synth or pad. Not will exclude the term entirely. When you put not in the search here, you've got to put and not. And all of these have to be in capital letters. And it seems simple, right? But here's where it gets really powerful. Let's do a little few examples here. Let's say you need a warm analog pad. So a regular search, you will type in, uh, if I just go into there, warm pad. And we get all these sounds, okay? And this is because Omnisphere searches for warm or pad, not both together. Boolean search, we will type warm. If I can type add and pad. Now we get loads more. And these are tagged with both the terms warm and pad. You just eliminated all the ones that just will not provide you with warm warm pad sounds basically then we have the or operator you want either strings or brass for a cinematic cue so regular search forces you to search twice really once for strings once for brass but with boolean you can say strings or brass and straight away we end up with something brass sound, strings, strings again, got a cello drone pad. So in the atmosphere lab, it's searching both for strings or brass sounds. Then we have the not operator, and this is my favorite. You want pads, but you're sick of dark, moody sounds. You want bright, uplifting pads only. So in the Boolean search, we're going to put in pad and not dark. And straight away, we've filtered out all the dark pad sounds. So we've got bright pads. Now we get into territory, you can combine sort of real interesting Boolean searches, and this is where we get really professional. 
because if you combine these searches, you get you can do complex, really complex searches that slice through Omnisphere's library like a scalpel. So what I mean by this is if I want cinematic and strings and bright. There we go, we're down to one. So exactly what you specified. If you combine the words and with the not, you can say base and analog and not sub. So we've got analog bases, but no sub. Then another interesting one is we're going to use brackets or the posh word parenthesis. Uh, so we're going to say in brackets lead or pluck and close brackets and oops aggressive things are. We need a double G. Does that if I can play spell aggressive correctly? Oops. There we go. Can't see any keyboard. Yeah, that's aggressive. And let's do a real power move here. We are going to type in. Ambient and pad or texture close brackets and not dark and not noise. And there we go. We get a pad or texture. So, what we're saying here is it must be ambient, it can be either a pad or a texture, it cannot be dark and it cannot include noise elements. So this is a four layer filter in one search. So you just narrow down over 38,000 sounds to maybe, well, we've got quite a few here, but we've narrowed it right down to these that will fit the bill instead of having to plow through all of them. Now using brackets or Parenthesis, as the posh term is, is where most people do get confused, but it's also where the magic really happens. So using brackets, it controls the order of operations just like maths does. And I'm not going to go into the theory of maths here because this isn't about maths, but it's the same concept. So without using brackets, if I do bright or warm and pad, you get all the bright sounds, regard the bright, bright can't even speak now. Bright sounds, regardless of whether they're pads, plus any warm pads. That's not what we want. If I put brackets around this, we filter out everything, and you get all the bright sounds. Uh, so. Let's just explain this again. Is the Omnisphere reads this as either bright or warm, which is the what's in brackets, and it must be a pad. So we can have bright or warm and a pad. It doesn't have to be bright and warm pad. So that's the difference. Anytime you use or with other operators, use brackets because it eliminates ambiguity and ensures you get exactly what you want. So time for some little real world scenarios. If you're Phil scoring, you need a tension building string, string patch. So I'm going to type in, uh, let's have a look. Just checking the search term I wanted there, a string and evolving or moving and not legato. So why do you want to do this? Well, you want strings that build and evolve. 
but not smooth legato performances. You want texture, not melody. And straight away, look at how we've surgically moved these into... Just a handful of sounds to play with. Very easy to go through and doable to find the sound you want. So ambient production. So you're looking for organic textures without digital artifacts. You can go into this and say texture and organic and not uh, digital and not synth. Voila, we have got these wonderful deep sampled organic sources that Omnisphere is famous for. And it excludes anything that sounds synthetic. Well, that's certainly not synthetic, that's a, like a cello bass or double bass. Yeah, Xperry bass. There we go. So let's do another scenario. Uh, EDM. You need aggressive leads that are not too harsh, but still cut through the mix. So we have lead and, whoops. One of these days I will spell aggressive correctly. And not scream and not harsh. So you want energy and attitude, but not ear piercing frequencies. And this search has narrowed it down. So here's a couple of common mistakes you've got to be careful of. And there's really three main ones. Using lowercase and or not. You know, Omnisphere requires uppercase for operators and is treated as a search term, not an operator. So always use, use and, or, and not in capitals. Forgetting spaces. So if you do, if you run these all together uh, and do something like warm and pad, it's, it's not going to work because it needs to be a space, warm and pad. And then you get your warm pads. The third mistake is overcomplicating searches. So more operators doesn't always equal better results. Start simple. If you get too few results, move, remove a filter. If you get too many, add one. Boolean search is iterative. Be fine as you go, really. And a bonus tip. Save your favourite searches as text snippets on your phone or in notes apps. It's all right. Build a personal library of search commands for different production scenarios. So here's your challenge before the next video. Open Omnisphere 3 right now and try this search. In brackets, warm or lush, close brackets, and pad and not dark. So... Let's see how many results you get. You should. If I, I forgot my brackets. Warm or lush. Close brackets and pad and not dark. That's what I want you to type into the search. Press enter. How many results do you get? And play through the first five patches. And now try this next one. Yes, I know. I want to close that. That's it. I want to say uh, pad and bright uh, and evolving, evolving and not up. So compare the sonic character. Do you feel the difference in specificity that you've put in there? Drop your comments below. It, you know, this is really a powerful way of searching for your sound. And this is how you train yourself to think in Boolean terms. Within a week, you'll be writing complex searches without even thinking about it. Now you have the power to find any sound in Omnisphere 3 with surgical precision. No more scrolling through hundreds of patches. No more settling for close enough. But we're not done with search yet. In the next video, I'm going to reveal the advanced filters and 
attribute system, how to use author tags, mood filters, timbre characteristics on genre tags to create searches that go beyond keywords. Plus, I'll show you the hidden sound match feature that finds similar patches based on sonic characteristics, not just tags. There's a whole world of finding the sound you want. So do remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Comment below with your best Boolean search discovery from this video. I want to see what combinations you come up with. Next week, we're going to go even deeper, like I said. So until next time, stay creative, stay sonic. I'll catch you in the next one.